Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life. And it's Billy from Behind the Camera. I am uh, Sherry's oldest child, in case you d don't know who I am or why some random guy's standing here today. Uh, but I'm actually here uh, to do my first ever quilting project. And if you listen to our podcast, you might have heard when we had Jenny Doan on the podcast and interviewed that I mentioned I was going to be doing a pillowcase. And so that's what we're going to be doing here today. I have to mention before we start that when my mom started her blog and into the quilting industry, I don't know, was that like 2008, 2009? 2008. If you had asked me then, I guess that's uh, 13 years ago now, if, if I would ever be doing a video or anything to do with quilting, I would have told you there was a 0% chance. <laughs> but here I am today, so you, you, know, you never know where <laughs> life is going to take you. That's right. <laughs> but um, my mom is going to walk me through it all step by step, and we have the materials and everything here, so um, wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, yeah, Billy's going to make a flannel pillowcase with gray plaids, and I'm going to make a holiday pillowcase, and we're going to use the American Patchwork and Quilting method, and we'll just get started now. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to use the APQ Challenge pillowcase method, and you might not, not know a lot about this, Billy, but they have been making a million, their go initial goal was to make a million pillowcases, and so they developed this free pattern. I'll link to it. And people have been making this for years and donating these pillowcases to hospitals. And uh, so it's been really fun. I actually went on a retreat one time at APQ and we made as many as we could in an hour. Oh, wow. It was super fun. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take your, your contrast fabric first. Okay, and that is, this is contrast? Yep, that's All your right. contrast for like the edge of the pillowcase. Okay. And you're going to lay it out flat on the mat with the right side of the fabric up. Okay, I hear you say that a lot. Right side is yep. this side, yep. and this is called the wrong, wrong side? The wrong side. All right. Yep. Okay. I've learned a lot over yes. the last couple of years. Okay, now, and I've already cut Billy's pieces for him according to the pattern. Oh. Okay, okay. so now you're going to take your pillowcase fabric, and you're going to line up the top edge, but you're going to put the right sides together, so the wrong side is going to be up. Is up, okay. And you'll be able to tell which way to line them up. So like this? Yep. And first you just want to kind of lay them together so that they line up. And then I think you should put a few wonder clips in to hold it together while we do the next step. Okay. I'll just put some clips out. Maybe clip it every six inches. All right. Do, do you put them at the end too? Yep. Or Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just so that it kind of stays together while we do that. And if it's step. not perfect, perfect, that's that's okay? Um, well, you want to keep these edges lined up okay. as closely as you can. Okay. So this is Billy's first time using a Wonder Clip. <laughs> yes. I guess my mom didn't trust me with the rotary cutter to cut no, this. No, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> if you heard on the podcast stories of my dad using the rotary cutter and going right through the mat. Yes. Maybe that's why. I don't know. And also, uh, you can use pins here, but honestly, wonder clips are a lot easier and you're also not going to stick yourself with a pin. So this is just one of those notions that I really, really recommend. Okay. The next step is you're going to start at the bottom of this and you're going to roll it and you're going to just roll it all the way. Just like this? Yep. Okay. And to me, this method of making a pillowcase is just genius. Okay. Now that you can see the, your contrast fabric under there, you want to roll it maybe just one more time. Up here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, actually, we're going to have to back up a little because we're going to sew a seam and we don't want this to get caught in the seam. Okay. So maybe roll it again and make it narrower. Okay. So tighter. Yeah. Tighter roll. Okay. 
Yeah, that's going to be better. Okay. How's that? Uh, yep, that should be good. Okay. Now you're going to bring this, and you're going to bring it up. Oh, you're, so all you're the gonna way make up. a sandwich. Mm -hmm. That roll is gonna be in the middle, and you're gonna clip this. So now you have three pieces clipped all the way across. Okay. And because you're gonna sew a seam up here, and you want to not sew any of the pillowcase in that seam. It's just gonna be the two edges of the contrast and the one end of the pillowcase, but not this part of the pillowcase. Okay. And you might want to add a few more wonder clips and make sure all those edges are really, really lined up. So like <laughs> right here, I don't, I don't even know if, because I'm in front of the camera now. I don't know if it can see it, but is that too far off? You want them as close together as, as you can. As possible. Yep. Okay. Even if you have to unclip it and kind of adjust it. Yeah. I feel like I can do that right here. Yep. This is just an example of when pinning is a really important part of the process. Okay. okay. Yep. Is that I think okay? you're good. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew a seam from here down to there, just okay. a straight seam. And uh, you, you'll, you won't be getting any of this in your seam. And uh, then we'll come back over here and show you the next step. Okay, so I put a piece of tape down on the machine for Billy to make it easier for him. This is going to be a half inch seam for this pillowcase. And so you're going to start at the end. You can take that clip off. Okay. This is my first time ever operating a sewing machine. There's no practice. Okay, and bring it up closer to this. this is called the presser foot. The presser foot, okay. And you had told me to put this, edge. is that edge against yep. the orange? Perfect. Okay. Yep. Keep sliding it up a little bit further. Oh, geez. Okay. You might want to just fold that up and put it in your lap. Perfect. Okay. Okay, get it to where it's under the presser foot, just barely. Okay, now. Reach around back here, and there's a button that will let you put the presser foot down. There's like a lever. Oh, okay. And push it up or down? Pull down. it down. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Um, your fabric isn't quite under the needle. Maybe lift that up and move your fabric back a little bit more because you want it to be under the needle. So right back here? towards the window. Oh, back. Okay, gotcha. Okay, now put the presser foot down. Okay. We're going to hit the down button right there and put the needle down. It wow. just makes it easier when you start sewing. Okay. Make sure you don't slide your fingers under there because you'll... Will it get me? It will get you. Okay. I'm going to take this one off too. All right. Now, is there now a gas pedal a or pedal. something? Yep, okay. a pedal right down there. All right. And I'm going to actually put this on slow just <laughs> <laughs> until you get get going. Okay. But the other thing is we're, we want to back stitch at the front and the end of this. And that, see this button right here? Mm -hmm. After you sew about five stitches... Push that button and, and sew about five back. stitches back so it kind of makes a knot at okay. the end. Okay. okay. All right. So, so am I good to go? Yep. Push how, on how, the pedal. Do I just put it all the way, pedal to the metal or? Uh, about halfway. Okay. Okay. Now let's stop and push that button. No, you have to like hold the button. Oh, so. oh while I do it. And it's going to come back. back. Yep. Okay, stop. Okay, now you're good to sew all the way to the other end. Okay, just just go. Yeah. And can I speed right, it up? Well, we can, but right before you get to uh, a clip, you're mm -hmm. going to have to stop and take that clip off. Okay. Because you can't sew over the clips. All right, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. I'm thinking you should go a little slower. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I think they're right about there. Yeah. Whoa.
Sorry. Am I gonna break something? No. I feel like. Okay, maybe go slower so you can just keep it lined up with the tape. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Yep. Now lift the presser foot. Oh boy. Okay. Pull it over. This side? Give yourself six or eight inches this time. Okay. And then cut that thread. Up here. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Hand it to me. Let me make sure. <laughs> what we want to do is make sure that Billy caught all of the layers in his seam. Even though his seam is crooked, what's really important is that he caught all three layers, and it looks like he did. Okay. So now we're going to go back over to the table. All right. Well, because this is, I'm checking on both sides and he has caught all three layers. All right. Okay. I have room for improvement. So, well, <laughs> there's a couple more seams to sew. So okay. uh, you'll get some more practice soon. So we are back and I checked all of Billy's sewing, even though his line wasn't completely straight. The thing that matters is that you catch all three layers in your seam, and he did that. I checked it on both sides. So now you're going to turn out, and you're going to pull that section that you rolled mm -hmm. out from this edge of your pillow. Okay. And it just go slow. Just grab the middle section. And just start pulling it. And try to pull it out. Okay. Yeah. If anyone can see those seams, too, that it should make everyone feel better about <laughs> there seems. Yeah. So let me let me just get it started okay. for you. So you gotta maybe I'm... pull oh, it out okay. like that. Gotcha. And you're gonna pull it away from this part. Gotcha. Now I I was making that way too yeah. complicated. Yeah. Is that okay? Yep, you're I'm doing, doing great. Okay. And like That's I said, perfect. I don't know who thought of this method, but it sure is neat because it gives you a completely finished edge on your pillowcase so that there aren't any raw edges and you can wash it and it won't unravel. All right. Okay, and now just kind of like pull it all out. Okay. And now you can see kind of what your pillowcase is ah, going to look like. See, yeah. this is your edge. The top up here. Right. Okay. And so now we're actually going to go over to the ironing board. Let me show you what I did with mine. Uh, I sewed mine. You're going to press so that, that, that those seams that you sewed are pressed toward this section. So you're going to press it on one side that way and the other side that way. So, so when I'm over there, I'm pushing it towards it, this towards top Towards this, okay. yeah. And so we're just going to press it because see how Billy's is just... It's fine, but it's not pressed. So we're gonna press it so that it is really uh, nice and flat. And then something that I like to do, this isn't in the pattern, but I like to do a top stitch just right here, a quarter of an inch away, just use my the edge of my foot and sew a little seam and it just kind of gives it a nice finished look. So we're gonna uh, do that and Billy's gonna go over to the iron and press his. Okay, so Billy's here at the iron. He's just going to press, just as I mentioned, the, so that the seam goes toward the contrast fabric. All right. So anything to the... Oop. Yep. Do I, do I press Don't this button? Don't let your other hand touch the bottom of that or, iron. Okay. Do yeah. I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you, guys you press can see the I'm button, not much it gives you iron. steam. You don't have to use steam. Okay, so I could, should I just hit it? And... Yeah. You can maybe, like, press the button once every... Like that? Yeah. So and far, so good? To, you don't have to put a lot of weight into it. <laughs> okay. Um, is that good there? Or let is me it... see. I'd, I'd steam it one more time. There. Okay. Okay. Now move now it over. The, set the iron down. Set it down. Yeah, and then move your pillowcase over so you can finish pressing all the way to the end. Should I have turned? No, I guess not. We're going to do the other side after. Oh, that's right. I guess right about here. Just don't touch your left hand on that iron. Gotcha. 
I'm taking it you don't iron your own shirts. So. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> press the button and get some steam. Yeah, press it when it's on the fabric. When it's on there, okay. Is that yep. okay so okay. far? Yep. Now you wouldn't be putting this, if you were ironing a, ironing a quilt, you mm -hmm. would not be pushing this hard. Am I still pushing too hard? You're still pushing too hard for a quilt. It's okay for a pillowcase. Okay. I don't know if there will be a quilt in my future. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, now you're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side okay. so that both sides have been pressed. So I feel like you're an acceptable pillowcase iron rod. Okay. <laughs> do you ever want... I could. You would let me do this? I would let you iron my pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> I guess I should have taught you to iron when you were younger. <laughs> yeah, she did too much for me, and then, yeah. I, and then I feel like your grandmother loves to iron. She does. Uh, in college, yes. I would drop it off there, and she would iron my shirts. Yes. <laughs> and now I have an understanding girlfriend who helps me. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're done, and we're going to go over to the sewing machine, and we're going to do a quarter-inch top stitch. Right here? Right here. And I'm actually going to change the thread out. I've got some white thread out. I'm going to put some gray thread in so it doesn't show up as much. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Billy's going to sew a top stitch now, uh, just a quarter of an inch, and he's going to keep the right side of the presser foot on the seam that he just pressed. Okay. Just I'm going to slow it down just a slow touch. Slow it here. down just a touch. Yeah, I just sewed mine, so I had it on high speed. Remember, you have two threads to cut. The bobbin, which is on the bottom. Down here? Yep. Oh. Yep, this whole time you've been sewing with a, two threads. Interesting. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back over to the table now, and I'll show Billy how to get ready for the next step. Okay, what you're going to do now, let me just pull up mine. I've already sewn mine. You're going to put the edges together with the right sides out, and you're going to clip... Uh, oh, I just realized I missed a little bit on my seam. You're going to clip them together with the Wonder Clips, and we're going to sew a really small seam allowance. They're, we're going to call it a scant quarter. We want it to be a little bit less. But anyway, this is called a French seam, and what, what it's going to do is make sure that we don't have any raw edges on our pillowcase. So you're going to clip those long edges, and then you're going to go and you're going to sew just this quarter, scant quarter of an inch seam. And then we'll come back. Okay. So first thing, like you said, wrong sides together. Wrong sides together. It seems like you're doing it wrong, but you're not. Because we're actually going to be a French seam. You sew each seam twice to enclose the raw edges. But yeah, just line that up as well as you can. And then use as many wonder clips as you think you need. And really, the, a really important thing is to match these two top edges right there. Okay. So. So if that's good, that's a good starting place. Yes. And we're going to actually start sewing there, too. Okay. Okay, so Billy's going to go over to the sewing machine now. He's going to start on this end. He's going to backstitch on this end. He doesn't really need to backstitch on the other end because it's going to be sewn later. And uh, it's just going to sew a scant quarter inch straight seam. Okay, so my mom's instructed me where to go. And I'm. what was the name of the stitch again? It's a scant quarter inch seam. Scant quarter inch seam. Okay, so here we go.
Okay, so uh, Billy's back from the sewing machine and he checked and he caught the pillowcase in all of the parts. So what he's gonna do next is turn this wrong sides out. Okay. And this will be a lot easier than when he just had to. Flip yeah, it out, just right? Just flip it out. Okay. And find your seam. Right here. Yeah. Okay. So flip that kind of over. And then that needs to be the top. top. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, and, and this is the second part of the French seam, is he's going to go back and he's this time he's going to sew three eighths of an inch. And what it's going to do is enclose that seam, those raw edges, so that he doesn't have any raw edges on the inside of his pillowcase. What I like to do that really helps is press it first. Just bring that seam right to the top and iron all the way down. And let me grab mine because I've already sewn it. And I'll just put it here. So I ironed it. And then you can tell that I sewed a, about a 3 8 of an inch seam. And that way it enclosed those raw edges. And when you look at the outside of my pillowcase, there are no raw edges on the outside of the pillowcase. There's a few threads I need to trim and there are no raw edges on the inside of the pillowcase. So Billy's just going to go sew that and then we'll come back and show you the last step. And I will say you guys have seen me sew now a few times in this video. So I'm going to go in the honor system just for time's sake and go do that. But we'll be back after I do that. Okay. All right, so here is my finished seam. And even though I didn't record, I felt like, I'm not lying to you, I think that was my best job so far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I didn't I, I didn't get too far off and everything, so. Um, yeah, and he sewed a little faster, which I think maybe actually helped stay straighter. Yeah, I think so too. So now I think now I'm, I'm ready to turn up the, the speed. Okay. So turn it right side out now. Okay. We're actually going to just do the same two steps that we just did to make a French seam on the bottom of the pillowcase, and then we will be done. So the hard part is all done. Will it be up here? Yep. Okay. I can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Yeah, so you're just going to clip these edges, okay. and you're going to sew a scant quarter-inch seam and uh, turn it wrong side out and sew the, the second step of that French seam, and then uh, it will be done. Should I line it up again with this seam Yeah, line seam up again? that seam. That's standard practice, I'm guessing. Yeah. And then you probably only need five or five clips or so. You don't need to put them so close together since this is a shorter edge. Okay. It's not going to be as difficult to... But then be sure you turn it over and make sure those edges are lined up on the other side. Okay. Okay. Yep. Looks good job. pretty good. So he's going to head over and he's going to sew a scant quarter inch seam. And then he's going to turn it... Uh, wrong side out and, and do it again so on the, the other side the three eighths inch seam on the other side and then you'll be done okay so when i come back hopefully it'll be all all set yep okay so i'm done with my pillowcase and billy is done with his pillowcase he did a great job uh i gave him a quick pressing both of them in full disclosure uh but yeah what do you think well, I have a lot of respect for all of you quilters out there. That, that was. This is going to be one thing. This will probably be the most painstaking edit I'll ever have. I'll ever do on a video because I think 
from beginning till now is close to two hours, yeah, you said? Yeah, two hours. So um, <laughs> if we did this video just with my mom, it probably would have taken 30 minutes to film and maybe it'd be a five minute video. So <laughs> I know we went step by step to show, you know, any, you know, someone who's never done any quilting before, this is what it looks like and this is what it takes. So uh, I do have a lot of respect for for quilters now, but overall I am pretty happy with yeah. the finished product. I think I got better as I went as with using the machine and everything. Right. Yeah, he got better. And the other thing is too, flannel is a little bit more tricky to sew with. It the the guide dog the feed dogs don't pull it as easily. And so you were sewing your first project with fabric that doesn't glide as easily as quilting cotton. So if you made a regular cotton pillowcase, it would have been much easier. Okay. Well then that makes me feel a little better too. Yeah. But yeah, so. overall I'm I'm pretty happy. So I'm gonna be putting this to use and yeah. And we'll we'll see where where it goes from here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well if you enjoyed this video please share it with a friend, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.